It's mute, but she says she can hear me, right? It's yeah. They can hear me? All right. It's, yeah. What do you mean it shows me as mute? Right there. It shows me as mute, I uh, oh, that's, we can't hear for some reason. That's a different thing. So well, I don't need hear. to hear my own voice. Well, no, babe, someone voice. muted you. Thanks. Can you hear me? Yeah, we yes. can hear you. Can so, you hear us? Mm-hmm. Okay, then yeah, you're good. It's just, I don't know why that's icon. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I was probably complaining <laughs> that the, this doesn't have audio. That okay. The screen that you're sharing doesn't have audio, because of course. Anyway, this is, uh, uh today is kind of snafu day we're just gonna go through all the kinks and, and work out all the problems and really try to get it uh, to the point where it's working and so that we can communicate effectively with one another we're gonna do just a little bit of math today but mostly we're gonna work through kinks and try to get everything working just how it needs to be working <coughs> um, so, yes. Why is it that everyone's cameras off except for a couple of people? Because they don't have theirs on. They can turn their cameras on. That would be good if you turn your cameras on. Then I can see you and uh, learn what your name, the name goes to the face. You know. Ready, go. That was good. That was that was great. They turned on all their cameras. And zero more on. <clears throat> oh, you're going to work on posting that other yeah. thing? Yeah, from calculus. This is such a big window. New scan. New scan is what it takes. So, in a minute, yeah, there you go. Turn them on. I'm going to do attendance very soon here. This is my assistant, Garrick. Yep. Uh, Garrick is, uh, he's the one that's setting up all the technology. Uh, I can do the math falling out of bed, but I, but the technology stuff is hard for me because I'm more than 20 years old. Yeah, we didn't add the printer. That would be why. Oh, fine. add the printer. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh. That would be why there was, I couldn't scan it because. Oh, yeah. you didn't add the printer. Yeah. Oh, man. And you're the tech guy. Oh man, that's great. All right. <laughs> you're starting off real well. Oh yeah. All right, so when you're done with that, I'm going to take attendance. Yeah, I'm just going to try to now scan. You can do that now? Yeah, All just right. try to. Right there's your attendance, so you can just click over there. Boop, 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 boop. All right. <clears throat> All right, so I need a verbal because part of what we're testing is our ability to hear and see one another. <clears throat> All right, uh, Kaylee Howard. Okay, I can't see you. Do you have a camera? Haley Howard, do you have a camera to turn on? Haley Howard has left. I think she'll be back. All right, let's try somebody else. Uh, Raymond Rogers, where are you? Here. Can't see you either. What's wrong with me? Oh, well, that's yeah. all right. Carly Sackett. Okay. Well, it says we got 35. I'm only expecting one person. Ayana Walling. Well, 35, I'm putting in. Oh, two people absent. Ayana, are you here? No, Ayana. <coughs> uh. Let's see, Giuliano, oh, it says Julian, right? Julian Artonio. Okay. Uh, Layla Beltran. If I'm saying your name wrong, you got to correct me. Okay, thank you. I, I will always try to say it right. <clears throat> Ania, or is it Ania? Horsel. Ania, I had it right the first time. Okay, welcome. <coughs> Ryan Conti. No Ryan Conti. Hi. Oh, hi Ryan Conti. 
Dominic Cook. All right, Dominic Cook and uh, Marissa Credit. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Elizabeth Fredericks. Elizabeth Fredericks. Okay, no Elizabeth. All right. <clears throat> Riley Freeland. Where are you, Riley? Oh, hi, Riley. Okay, Destiny Hart. No Destiny Hart. All right. Juliana Heath. Or do we say Juliana? Juliana, oh, right? The chat section? Because there might be some typing. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it's the chat. Lyric Hester. <laughs> Lyric Hester. Hmm. Strange. Peyton Juvie. Hi, how are you? Can't see you. Uh, I believe you. I don't know, Paella, Coco? Okay, did I say it anywhere near right? Yes. Oh, wow, Paella, Coco. Okay, cuckoo, cuckoo. Haley Mason. Yeah. Okay. Venice Matos. <clears throat> Where are you, Venice? Oh, right there. Okay. Gotcha. Hayden Miller. Okay, Hayden. Takari Moon. Okay. Is there okay? So uh, Danica uh, Navares. Okay. <clears throat> Riley Rivera. Okay. Heather Robertson. Yeah. Okay. And Eric Rodriguez. All right. Gianna Newell. I don't know. How do you say it? Here. Yeah. All right. Chanelli. Okay. Nora Scott. <clears throat> okay. And Nathan Strickhauser. Kayla Thorne. Okay. Uh, Peyton Uigamala.
Okay, I don't see you, but I guess you're there. Aiden Van Sickle. I'm here. All right, that's the guy with all the power in the meeting here. Uh, Damien Watkins. <clears throat> okay. Abigail Whitley. Did, did somebody, oh, yep, okay. And E.T. Wilder. Please don't call me that. Oh, uh, you know what, I'm sorry, Elizabeth Wilder. You know why I said that? Because it's in parentheses, and every time I've ever seen uh, a something in parentheses, that's usually what the kid prefers to be called. And yet, okay, so we won't call you that. We'll call you Elizabeth Wilder. How about that? Okay. Call me chair. What? I said call me chair. Chair, like C-H-A-I-R, chair? Yes. Okay, I don't know if I can remember that at first, um, but... If you correct me every time, then I'll get it after about a week. I'm slow, though. Okay, last call for Elizabeth Fredericks and Destiny Hart and Lyric Hester. I got you guys all absent. Oh, and uh, Ayana Walling as well. Okay? Not here. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so... Did you guys get the um, instruction sheet and the syllabus thing? Y'all are muted, so. Okay, so everybody got it? How about this? If you didn't get it or don't know how to get it, let me know. Oh, it says tell him. All right. Tell them what. Uh, somebody's talking, but we can't hear you. <clears throat> Who is that, Van Sickle? Are you, are you talking? Oh, because I can't hear you. All right, looks like you were talking. Okay, my bad. Um, all right. Um, Yes, yeah, something like that. Um, so what we're going to do here, uh, generally uh, today, like I said, we are really trying to make sure everything works. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, <clears throat> a very, a very, very few, just a few notes so that you can see if you can take notes. I'm going to give you a short assignment. It's going to be real easy. It's going to be an easy 10 points for you. And you can just turn it in, but we got to make sure everybody can turn in homework when they need to. All right, and that you can hear me, you can see when I'm writing something. So I'm going to move the camera down. Can you see that? Oh, it's very, very goofy here. Oh man, stay. Oh, this thing. Oh, that was bad. Um, that thing is upside down. Huh. Okay. Getting too much screens this way. All right. Now, let me see if I can write something here. Stand by. Okay, um, so let's see. Uh, we need to move this thing just in the way. And my phone is under there. I'm just kind of move that out of the way. I just knocked down something. So 
about what's going on? I'm about to break down some stuff. Oh. I think it's going okay. Oh, okay, you just need a place to put the book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, we, we need a bigger desk. Okay, so let's see. Can you see... Um, yeah, please. Where's my presentation? Uh, it's right here. This is it. It, your, yeah. it just doesn't show it right here. It's right here. I know, but oh, so I can't see it on there to see if no, there's no, a time delay? Yeah. Because, okay. um, yeah, it wants to be more optimized, so it tries to be optimized, but ends up failing. Thanks. Can you see that? Can you see that I've written something down? Yes. Yes. Good. Write it down. Let's take a few notes. Nothing much today. Okay, so let's start with addition. Okay, so addition, that should be pretty easy. Let's see if anybody's smart enough to do 4 plus 2. Wow, some of you know. What is it? I don't know how to call on you because you all look the same to me so far. I don't know your names yet. I'm sorry. Uh, 6. All right. So, um, 10 plus 5 is 15. Okay, that was easy. You're ready to get an A on the first test now? If that's all it is, I'm sure you would get an A. Uh, let's see, what about negative numbers? Do you know how to do that? Negative 12 plus negative 3. Do you know what that is? Good. What is it? Okay, so when you're adding a negative plus a negative, you add them up and use the negative sign. So, let's see. For addition rules, you're adding a positive plus a positive, like we did on those first two examples. You add and use positive sign. Right? <clears throat> this should be review from your pre-algebra class. All of you should have had pre-algebra or something called Accelerated Math 7 last year. Or if you're in seventh grade now, maybe you just got recommended exactly for this class by your by your sixth grade teacher. Maybe a couple of you. There's not too many seventh graders, but there's a few. And if you're doing a negative plus a negative, you're going to add and use the negative sign, just like I did on this example. Okay, so this one, these two. Go to that example. Negative 6 plus negative 1 is? Negative 7. Can, can you see, like, my handwriting? Can you see that pretty well? Okay. Are you with me on those first two types? Now... Let's do uh, like if you're adding. So we're still we're still adding here. Adding one of each. Okay, if we're going to add one of each, we're going to subtract <coughs> and use the sign of the larger. 
time. So let's do a couple of examples like that. That's going to be you know, down here. It's going to be like this one. Okay. Okay. So negative four plus six. So if you're doing negative four plus six, you're going to do what? You're going to subtract those numbers, so 6 minus 4 is 2, and the larger sign is positive, so the answer is just positive 2. <clears throat> or if you were doing negative 10 plus 1, that's going to be negative 9 because 10 minus 1 is 9, but it's negative because the sign of the larger number to begin with was negative. Another way to think about this sort of problem here, if I wanted to think about this sort of problem, if for those of you that this stuff up here is confusing, if this is confusing, you can always think about it like on a number line. So if I had my number line going along, now here's negative 10, because that's where I'm going to start, right? 9, negative 8, blah, 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 zeros over here somewhere. If I was going to start at negative 10, this says move to the right one space. So I start here, and I go one space over. Look where I end up at negative 9. Okay. I mean, that's another way to think about it. If this stuff is confusing... You can always think about it with number lines. The problem with doing it with a number line is if you had negative 103 plus 422, you'd have to move 422 ticks and it would just take you all day and all night. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's okay for numbers that are fairly close together. <clears throat> um, now... What about subtraction? Okay, so I'm going to slide my paper up a little bit. A line, use of subtraction. This is going to be subtraction, and I'm going to do some subtraction rules. Okay. First thing I would say to you, and I know that, you, you know, you can interrupt me with questions if you need, you know. <clears throat> if you're going to do a very basic subtraction problem, like, like kindergarten, where it's a bigger number minus a smaller number like that, just do it. You know what I mean? If you're just doing something real basic, you don't need to worry about this. But that's supposed to be an S, by the way. It's horrible, horrible S. Horrible, S. All right. But I'm going to employ a technique because once you get negatives and positives and bigger numbers and smaller numbers, it can be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to give you a rule or two here. <coughs> uh, use same change change. to um, form an addition problem to simplify as above. Catch all that? Now, if you don't know what same change change is, I'm going to show you. Everybody got that part? Well, you've got it written down. Yes. Okay. And if you don't quite understand it yet, give me a give me an example or two. Okay. Now I'm going to really screw this up. Let's say we had. Um, 
negative 10 minus uh, a negative 12, okay? So I'm going to do the same change change thing here. I'm going to use that on this problem. <clears throat> so here's what it means. I'm going to keep the first number the same. See? Thing. And change, change. I'm going to change the minus to a plus to form an addition problem, just like I promised you. And I'm going to change the sign of the second number. The second number was negative, so I'm going to change it to a positive. There, I have same change changed that problem to an addition problem, and now all I'm going to do is what it said to do up here. Okay, what is negative 10 plus 12? It is indeed 2. Uh, let's see, 25, so I've got plenty of time. Good. All right, let's do some more examples. Now, going back to something like 9 minus 6, right? Let's just say for a laughs that I wanted to do that with uh, same change change. Let's just see what that would look like. 9 minus 6, right? Same change. And this next part can be a bit tricky because people look at this and they think, oh, look, negative. I want to change it to a positive. But be careful. Because if I look at what I... If I look at what I had, I had 9 minus positive 6. So I have to look at this as a positive 6 that needs to be changed to a negative. Yes? Oh, my bad. Sorry. Uh, certainly, it is. And of course, you still get the same answer. I am recommending to you that if it's just a bigger number minus a smaller number, just subtract like you did in kindergarten. But when it starts to get, and let me do, um, I'm going to flip this over, okay, for another example. All right. When it starts to get even something like 3 minus 10 is enough to confuse sometimes because you didn't, you didn't do this in kindergarten. You didn't wind up with a negative answer. <coughs> Uh, how would I change this if I'm rewriting it with same change change? What would it then say? It would say negative 10. Correct. And what is 3 plus negative 10? Negative 7. Negative 7. And if you thought about this as a number line problem, and if you were out here at 3, and that's my starting point, and I went in that direction, that many spaces, I'd be starting there at 3, and I'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and you'd wind up over here at negative 7. I know I'm cheating, right? There's 2, there's 1, there's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 4, negative 5, okay? And so um, that's, that's still a, a way to do it. So if you're doing a test for me or a homework assignment for me, I don't care which method you use. Once in a once in a blue moon, I'm going to insist that you use a certain method, but that's very rare. Okay, um, let's do uh, nine minus negative six. Then I'm going to show you a trick when we do this problem. Any of these problems. All right, so if it's minus, then you've got to do same change change. We don't have to, but you might just know the answer. <clears throat> what do you think it is? Does anybody just know the answer without doing same change change? Yes. What is it without doing same change change? Yes. 15? Okay, good. Because without, if I change it, same, change, change, I get 15. 
But there's a trick you can do. Watch it, look at it. Don't look away. If you have minus a negative, ah, oh my gosh, that's a plus. Oh, wow, that was pretty cool. Negative 9 plus 6 is 15. But that only works if it's minus a negative. All right, so if I've got negative 10 minus 4, all right, what's that going to be? Okay, why don't you go ahead and this time let's try uh, type in your answer onto the chat. Just copy whatever the first person says. It's got to be right. <laughs> All right. Enclave here. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, so everybody knows how to do this. You guys are so much smarter than the other class. Oh my god, don't get me started on those other guys. I'm just kidding, they're fifth period. I haven't seen I haven't even met them yet. Okay. So it is negative fourteen. You can think of it as same change change if you want to. But if you if you're solid on these without messing with same change change, okay. All right, I'm going to give you a very short homework assignment, mostly so that you can learn how to, you know, do it. You're going to do it. You're going to take a picture of it. You're going to send it in to Google Classroom. Uh, shortly, it will be posted on Google Classroom, and it will be turn inable. So all it's going to be is adding and subtracting, just like what we just did, and it's going to be on page might want to write this down page e12 that's right ladies and gentlemen and then you're going to do problem one through nine only nine easy questions and uh it's uh it's like chapter zero okay it's at the very beginning of the book like the third section in on the chapter zero we're going to hit the highlights on chapter zero and then we're going to move right into uh Chapter one, shortly thereafter. If you didn't get a math book, oh my goodness. I think you have to go to school and get a math book. I mean, I, I don't know what else you're going to do, but they're open. Call them ahead of time. Make sure you can get in, get a math book, okay? So uh, if, there's any, if there's no more questions, <clears throat> Then I yield the balance of the time. You don't have a lot of time left, but you've got a few minutes to, uh, to work on these problems. Meanwhile, I will get it posted, and I will post the video for people that were absent. Okay? Okay. So, wow, he's upside down. How did he do it? Oh, he's Spider-Man. Okay, that's it. There we go. All right, uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you for your time and your attention today. Good job. Um, and I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to give you the rest of the period to work on those problems. Okay. All right. All right. We will talk to you. Oh yeah. What, what happened? Want to see the page again. Oh, we want to see the page again. Okay. Upside down. There it is. Right there. Page P12. One through nine. Um, if somebody, oh, you know what? Somebody that doesn't have a book, can somebody that does have a book take a picture of the page and post it? Because I've got a picture of the page, but it's it's got all the answers on it. I got the teacher's edition. Also, remember to show your work. Oh, yeah, this page is just adding it. Not a lot of showing your work. If you're using the same change change method for subtraction, then show your work on those problems and you don't have to worry about the rest of them, okay? All right, we will see you tomorrow and I'm going to get all this stuff posted. Stop presenting? Yes, stop presenting. Okay, so now.
understand. One moment.